c'est des ombres. Je les vois comme des ombres. Joseph Ray has Parkinson's disease. As part of his condition, he experiences what's called presence hallucinations, a feeling that someone is behind when there's actually no one there. Ils me sentent qu'ils sont tellement protecteurs. Je les, je les sens comme étant des, qui, des anges qui me protègent. Quoi. Around half of the people with Parkinson's disease experience hallucinations of some sort. The spontaneous nature of the event has made the phenomena hard to study. Now scientists in Switzerland have devised a way of awakening the ghosts behind the brains of Parkinson's disease sufferers to help evaluate their mental health. The process involves using robots to provoke the onset of presence hallucinations. Professor Olaf Blanke of the Swiss Federation Institute of Technology. The system is actually quite simple. We have two robots, not one. One robot is in front of the subject and will measure the movement, and the second robot will feed back signals uh, to the individual that we're testing, Parkinson patients or healthy subject. And then when we in induce a mismatch, so if the front robot is doing something else than the back robot, this is the condition where the presence hallucination occurs. The study involved 56 Parkinson sufferers in Switzerland and Spain. While the disease has been traditionally defined as a movement disorder, some patients also suffer from mental symptoms like psychosis, depression, cognitive decline and even dementia. Researchers say the growing evidence suggests that hallucination might be precursors to these more severe mental health symptoms, but they often remain underdiagnosed. Hallucinations occur spontaneously. The patient, the doctor, nobody knows when they will occur and we have no control over it so far. So this is an important achievement that this method and procedure does. We know when it will happen, we know the conditions when it will happen, and we can control it across several conditions. What we want to do is try to see whether even 10 years before you develop Parkinson's disease, and there are certain ways of detecting those individuals who may be at risk developing Parkinson's disease, whether among these individuals we can also have a similar discrimination. So this could lead to findings that before you have any motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, we can already tell you based on the test whether you will have more severe forms of Parkinson's or not.